welcome to Clisso White Room Tips. My name is Clisso Barroso and this is a special episode in English. We're going to be talking about softening the skin in Lightroom 2.0. Without the kind and generous sponsorship of Adobe Systems, Sony Alpha, Color Monkey, and Mako Systems, this episode would never be possible. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Well, we just start by opening Lightroom. And once it's open, let's pick up one of Alan's pictures. Let's pick up this close-up. It has three stars on it. And by hitting the letter D, D for develop, we take it to the develop module. Once we are here, we have two strategies to follow. The first one is just come to this basic panel. And once we are here, we have this clarity in presence. We have this clarity slider. If you bring the slider all the way to the left, it softens the skin. Look, all the way to the right, it has this harsh look. All the way to the left, it has this Barbie look. So it's very easy. The point is, when we soften the skin this way, we soften not only the skin, but the clothes also, the clothes, some parts of the hair. So if I bring it to minus 100, I have this beautiful glowing skin, but I have soft gloves, soft hair, and I don't want that. So to make the adjustments local, I have to create a mask. And to create a mask, I'm going to take this clarity slider back to zero, close the basic pane, and hit this brush icon and the brush icon takes us to the adjustment brush and the adjustment brush creates a mask if I just roll my mouse over the image we can see this green mask being created here okay this is not the mask I want so I'm gonna hit delete get rid of this mask and let's find the right mask for us as I have already created a mask just for this episode. I'm going to hit the letter H on my keyboard and it shows up the pins. The pins hold the mask. If I move my mouse over the pin, it shows the mask. If I select the pin and move my mouse away from it, the mask disappears. Why is that so? This mask is showing up as an overlay. So to see the overlay, I have to press the letter O. Overlay on, overlay off. Overlay on, overlay off. To get rid of the pins, just press the letter H again. The mask is still on, we just can't see it because the overlay is turned off. Let's turn it on, hitting O, and pay attention. I avoided the eyes, the mouth, and the edges. The edges of the image are very important to make it real. Let's hide the overlay and get closer to her face. Now, if we go to the clarity slider and push it all the way to 100, we have this coarse, very coarse skin. But if instead we push it all the way to minus 100, all the way to the left, we get this very soft and beautiful skin. By this point, usually I use the sharpness slider and go up a little bit just to make the skin look more real, less fake. I think 52, 53 is okay. So let's take a look. And now we have this soft glowing skin and only the skin was affected by the clarity slider. And the rest of the image is in sharp focus. Let's see before and after. Just hit the backslash key to see before, after, before, after. Let's get closer. And this is before and this is after. If we need, sometimes we need to get a little contrast, just pump up the contrast a little bit and we can make it a little bit brighter by going to the brightness slider 
and this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Very easy. You get this beautiful look. It doesn't look fake at all. And the picture is ready to print. Considering we've been working with a 25 megapixel Sony Alpha RAW image, this is surely the best way to preserve quality and soften the skin at the same time. Well folks, thanks for watching and I see you on the next episode.